It's time for the Help Site of the Week. This is where we showcase an online resource dedicated to bringing you help and information. This week, securityportal.com. This is, I just was browsing this site today. What an incredible site with lots of information about security. I went in there. They had a review of firewalls. It's the best I've ever seen. It's just really a dynamite site for security information. And joining us right now live via satellite from Seattle, Washington, the founder and chief technical officer of Security Portal, Jim Rivas. Hey, Jim, how you doing? Oh, very good. Thanks very much for naming us the help site of the week. Well, the... Uh, it, you deserve it. I mean, it, this is a really nice site for security. How are things? No earthquakes in Seattle, right? Not at the moment, and we have power, too, so yeah. we're one up on you. I feel like we are, this is something like, uh, something out of the skin of our teeth or something. Here we are laboring with, with, you know, they're turning off the power all over the state. You guys had an earthquake. It's the end of the world here, ladies and gentlemen. But we're going to go on and talk about security, okay, Jim? Sounds good. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about your site. How did it get started? Well, I've been a security consultant for uh, several years, about 10 years, and uh, about two and a half years ago, I was... Uh, just on a vacation hiking with kids and I didn't want to listen to my kids talk so I was just <laughs> thinking to myself and thought why don't I take all this information I have in my filing cabinet and put it out on a website and index it and uh, then the rest of the world can enjoy this security information as well. That's when I get my most creative moments is when those <laughs> kids are jabbering in the background. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, were you a hacker at any point, white hat or black hat? I mean, did you have any experience doing that kind of thing? I'm not quite that smart, but I do know quite a few hackers. I've been to a lot of those, um, been to shows and, and other places in chat rooms where you'd meet a lot of them. But no, I've always stayed on the right side. Well, it's interesting you should say smart, because a lot of times I think we have the impression that a lot of hackers are just dumb teenagers who are vandalizing things. You get the sense they're actually pretty smart guys, huh? Yeah, they're actually very smart. A lot of them have been raised, unfortunately, not by their parents. They come from broken homes, and they, they've actually been raised by their computers. And so yeah. they're very intelligent, but they have this kind of amoral view on society. Yeah, nobody, I understand. That makes perfect sense. Nobody kind of told them right, right, what right is and what wrong is. And because they can do it, they do it. That's right. What is the biggest security concern out there right now? Well, you know, I think we all uh, watch the headlines and, and the big denial of service attacks and, and attacks in a, in a defacement of a website get a lot of press, but I think it takes our eye off the ball. And the big issues really are the organized crime infiltration into a lot of these hackers who, again, don't have that moral grounding right. and use them to attack very specific targets very quietly and, and abscond with a lot of credit card numbers, things like that, make hits into banks, and, th and those companies would rather cover it up versus go out public. If you think about a bank robbery, there's really no shame in that um, traditionally, and, and we'll go to the police, that'll make headlines. But if a company gets its systems hacked and they lose a lot of money, they would rather keep that very quiet. Yeah, it's always been my impression there's a lot more of that going on than anybody admits. And even people, uh, sources inside the FBI have told me that, in fact, yeah, they don't want to tell us for that very reason. It's an embarrassment that our security is so bad. Absolutely. So hackers are going where the money is. That makes sense. That's where Willie Sutton went. He said, I rob banks because that's where the money is. What about home users? I mean, I don't have anything on my system. Should I worry about hackers? Well. If you have an, an always-on type connection like a DSL or a cable modem, I do. You, you probably should be concerned because our studies have shown if you put on a computer with a, an always-on connection, there is a greater than 50% chance that it will be scanned by one of these hackers' automatic robotic tools. And if they find something that's off-kilter there, um, they'll be back and they'll yeah. be looking for it. And you might not think you have very much important information on your computer, but if you're doing a lot of online shopping, you might have cookie files or other information out there, or Quicken or other information that'll have bank account numbers, credit card numbers, and a lot of other things. You recommend fi uh, personal firewalls for people? Personal firewalls are what I would definitely recommend in that situation. You have and a great review on the site of a, a dozen personal firewalls, including uh, our two favorites, Tiny and Zone Alarm. Uh, one of those you would recommend, or is there another one you'd recommend? I, I, I would stick with that review. I think that has some really good choices. Um, I excellent. use Tiny myself, yeah. and um, I think that's great. And, and free appeals to a lot of people, especially with power blackouts and a lot of other things. Yeah. Both Zone Alarm and Tiny are free. Zone Alarm's from ZoneAlarm.com, Tiny's from TinySoftware.com. But I think really, we, we also missed the point, really the biggest threat at this point is viruses and Trojan horses and worms. Those nasties that we get mostly in email really are a bigger threat to home users than anything else. 
Yeah, I, I think so, absolutely. That uh, um, if nothing else, it can make your computer inoperable. You, you can potentially lose data, right. but you bug the heck out of everybody in your address book when you open those things. And you, also, you. you also track this on your site, I know. What's the, what's the worst virus out there right now? Well, the one that we're still seeing the most of are the, the mutations of Love Letter really? out there. Really? That's still going around. And, and the reason for it is you can't even count how many mutations there are now because the original one came with essentially the source code. Right. It's very easy to modify. And in this case, the hackers don't need to be that intelligent to be right. able to change it. So. Yeah, maybe, maybe hackers are smart, but virus authors aren't. That's right. That's that, might, right. that might be the case. Hey, it's great. It's been great talking to you, Jim. And, and I do encourage people to visit the site. There is so much good information on there. We're proud to make it our help site of the week. Jim Revis is founder and CTO of SecurityPortal.com. How old are your kids now? Oh, they're seven and ten. You Still know, bugging you, so you might have some more good ideas in the future. Yeah. I'll try. <laughs> Thanks, Jim. Thanks. I appreciate it. All right. If you want Jim's list of top five uh, security tips. Really great stuff. Do check out the article uh, he wrote for us at thescreensavers.com. In the chat room today, are movie producers smarter than record producers? You know what a bollocks the record industry has made of this whole Napster MP3 thing. The same problems coming down the pike to the movie companies with DivX. It's possible for me to post a movie on a website for you to download it and watch it without paying for it. Will the movie industry be smarter? You cast your vote at thescreensavers.com. Can we do one more? Let's do one more call. I'm going to go over here while we talk to Tony on the phone from Rentham, Massachusetts. Hi, Tony. Thanks for joining us. Hi, Patrick. Hi, Leo. How you doing, sir? Very good. I have a flashlight pointed at the screen, if that helps at <laughs> that all. That helps a lot. Everybody, please do us a favor. Turn on your flashlight. Shine them at the screen. It makes such a big difference. Thank you so much.